Some places are amazing all year round. And I kind of needed somewhere like this after my rather stressful episodes last time out. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back at Ibsy. I have done a previous video at Ibsy, the link's in the description. Go and check that out after this video. But the snow has fallen, it's early November and there's still some water colours around so this is going to be good. I've been waiting for the sun to pop up over the mountains. I think that moment is here. Happy for warmth and hopefully for some light on this glorious location. Oh, it's so cold. That wind is biting. This is definitely the windiest and therefore the roughest I've ever seen in the lake. So there might be a chance of a shot with a wave. Very small wave, but a wave in it. What a place. And yeah, it's supposed to be sunny for another hour or so and then get cloudy. So uh, try to take advantage of the light and then we'll see what happens. I'm really liking these lines of the the bubbles lean towards the island. I think they could be shot there. I'm trying a long exposure as well as a, a regular exposure to see which looks best. But here are the shots. I really like both these shots. The first one shot at 0.6 per second, I think is my favorite. What I really like from the second one, which was shot at 30 seconds, was the way that the rocks pop out a foreground. Now, I don't really want the eye looking there, but it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below which one you like, but I think the first one is my favorite. Somebody's looking very cold over there. How cold are you at the moment? Freezing. What a scene this is. I'm really liking these reeds over there and then there's some leaves in the water in front of them. So I use a polarizer, you can see the leaves a bit more. I'm just not sure about the composition, but it's a fabulous place, as always. But I will admit, I did think there'd be more autumn colors left than there is. There's some on the far bank, but I'm waiting for some light to catch over there because you can't see anything at the moment because it's too dark. In a change of place, I'm absolutely loving these leaves in the water. The orange with blue, which we know always works, opposite sides of the colour wheel. So I think there's a nice abstract shot here. There's loads over there. Images like these really aren't my normal style, but I really like them. I really like the colours, the way they just pop, and there's, yeah, just a nice level of detail. Not bad for a fairly all-round lens. I think the second one, had it been a bit more top-down, would look better, but no matter, I'm really happy with both of these. I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro, there's little huts just there on one of the islands. In winter you can walk to it. Definitely not today, but I'm going to try and find a nice vantage point because it's side lit at the minute, which would be great. Okay, so I found a spot. So here's the island I could see before, and there's the, the island. And so you've got a little bit of separation, which you'll probably see in the image, between the two islands. The only problem is there's no separation between it and it's the one behind it. But that might be as good as I can get from here. I'm actually really liking this composition. I love the the lines, the bubbles and the leaves pointing at the island. I've managed to get some separation, I think, just about to both islands to the left and behind it. Got a bit of snow on the trees above. Oh, I'm hoping this comes out as, as nice as I'm hoping it will do. I think it will, so here's the shot. It's going well today. I really like this image as well. Now, believe it or not, I actually did desaturate this a little bit and the colours are still a little bit bright and a little bit unbelievable, so maybe I should desaturate it a little bit further, but this was how it was on camera, and so that shows you the colour of the water. Ibsy is amazing. What a lovely place. Last time I was here, and if you've watched my video from early this year here, I could actually walk from this island all the way along over to the edge of the peninsula, because it was all frozen ice and snow, and I didn't actually walk to the island, but I probably could have done if I'd been brave enough on the ice, but I didn't see that as a risk. So, but a bit different now. You can hear the wind. I've just had the drone up, but it's a little bit windy, really, especially for 
my level of caution when flying drones. There's been a few others flying around here, but for me, yes, it's been buffed around quite a lot. So brought it down and yeah, if the wind calms, I'll get some nice drone footage, but otherwise not so much today, sadly. Paul's trying to put the drone on up again, but it's jinxed with the wind every time we think it's quiet. The wind gusts again when he takes his drone out. The light is really fading, which is definitely limiting photographic options. Here, the colours of the water, especially around the island where it's really shallow, are just absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. Just loving seeing snow on the mountains. It's great. Got five or six months of it now, but absolutely loving it again. Got no food for you. Nothing. I think there's a little shot here. I like this tree on the end and actually you can't probably see it but right between the, these trees here you can see one of the huts on the island and there's zig spitzer behind so oh, here's the shot now this one doesn't really work that well i think the foreground is a little bit messy distracting but it was definitely worth a try normally coming to ibsy the question is do you have enough memory card space for all the photos you're going to take today there's plenty of photos to be had but they're not quite as easy as normal and that's not necessarily a bad thing there's some cool stuff around This was my attempted wave shot. It didn't really work, did it? But uh, it was fun trying. Never mind. Next time. Okay, so there wasn't too much more in the end. Always love coming to Ibsi. It's one of my favourite lakes now. A couple of videos back, I think it was, I went to Oberbergersee and I whispered that that might be my favourite lake. Not sure. Ibsi is always going to be up there, but it wasn't Ibsi's greatest conditions today. But even still, there's always a shot or 27 here to be had. So, I mean, just look at the snow-capped mountains behind us. And we didn't even walk down this side of the lake for that, for that view. So, no, that was it. It was a fantastic day. It always is here. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It is really appreciated. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.